Hey Defects, Defective Max here, and if you haven't heard, Ludwig has been playing League of Legends, and his crash outs might be keeping him from getting out of bronze. But before we get started on that, for those of you who don't know what a Ludwig is, he's a YouTuber and streamer that I admire for his accomplishments in the field. He has created multiple businesses off of his success, and has basically hired all of his best friends. He does a lot of stuff that I hope to aspire to do at some point in time and to help those around me that I love and care about. I'd say that the main thing that separates us is talent. Uh, he does things really well and his chat says he's doing a really bad job. I do things really poorly and my chat says I'm doing a really good job. That's the main difference between us. But right now we're going to talk about what he's been doing recently and that's been playing League of Legends, which is a game that I played way back before I started streaming, like it was my job. I could not find the hour count that I have in that game, but I played it like 10 hours a day every day for like four years. So like I know a little bit about the game. I'm not completely up to t touch with it uh, because uh, they have a real toxic community for the most part. And I've made a rule for myself that I don't play without a full team and I never have a full team. But here we go. So a couple of years ago, Ludwig played a show match which started as a beef with Tyler 1. Tyler said this. I took out, and I went on the support roll. I can't rip the shirt, it was too hard actually. Yeah. Anyway, I went support and the game got so much easier because I could play the game from my jungle and my mid, uh, my mid especially, and my top lane. I'm not gonna lie, Ludwig is an absolute liability. He refuses <laughs> to listen even on calls. <laughs> He, he almost solo lost the game again, oh but you know what? You know what? He tried his, his absolute best, and I respect him. Everybody on this team did well in that last game. Happy. That's the nice version of it. He's basically spent years saying that Logan was the most dog shit League of Legends player he ever met. Did you see what? And recently they had an interaction where Tyler basically said, told Ludwig that he would respect him if he made plat in league before the end of the season. And Ludwig has gone full ass into this attempt. Uh, we'll take a couple of looks at some of his gameplay. Bro, he's got, he's got me in my I, I, I think they're on dragon. How much I can do about it? Uh, watch out, War's gonna be top side to kill this. You got it, you got it. I believe in you. He How? needs to say... What? I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done! How did I'm you not die? playing this game anymore! How? How did that? I don't know, I'm at... So needless to say, there's been struggles. There's been plenty of struggles. He's gone as far to have, like, professional level coaching. He's been hardcore grinding the game. Uh, he's been duo queuing with some friends of his who are, are uh, pretty decently uh, ranked themselves. And uh, he's just been really pushing for this. And he's accumulated a lot of knowledge and some talent on a handful of champions. But I don't think that's like super what's holding him back. Nice! See? He's improved. Nice. But I've noticed some things personally that I think uh, have been really holding him back. But before we get on to that, I'm going to preemptively sh show that what we're about to watch, he has apologized for. Uh, I, I uh, <clears throat> sorry, actually, hold up. Uh, okay, I need to, um, hold up, let me pull the list here. Um, okay. Um, sorry, I just got to, Okay. No, wait, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Where is it? Okay. Uh, I'd like to give a formal apology to the Oriana who I said never pl talk to me ever again until we both die. I don't want to breathe the same air as you. I would like to give out a formal apology to the chat member who I said I would ban if they ever told me to use my smite again, you fucking piece of shit. I would like to send out a formal apology to the person who I said I'd rather kill myself by eating a bullet of lead. I'd like to apologize to Atriok and Stance for what I said about them offline. I'd like to send a personal apology to the rest of chat who I might have chewed out at some point. 
and to the person who beat me who was playing Shaco, who I said I'd rather them play a role in the next Nazi regime. I regret those actions and those words. Okay, now we're in it. Now so yeah, his crash house got pretty bad. Uh, I watched him completely go off the deep end live. And the main problem that's got him stuck in bronze is he's better than bronze. Uh, nobody's, I've seen mention it. Uh, he's gotten a lot of help from coaching and he's got a lot of skill shots down for the most part. Um, and the problem is, is that he knows what plays to make at a high level next from playing with these other people. But when he's solo queuing bronze, his team doesn't. And he will not join them in fights. Oh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Everyone just fuck off. Everyone fuck off. Fuck off. We're not fighting. Fuck off. Back. 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 Just go back. Just go back! Fuck! Wow. There's such a horniness to fight every five seconds! Just stop fighting! For one fucking second, stop fighting! Fuck me! It's fucking brain dead! So this is like a good call in the moment because his team's getting decimated. But because they're bronze, both teams are not good. So at some point, you've just got to bite the bullet and team fight with them and, and hope for the best. But... If your team is going to be fighting anyway, and you're holding out because the smart thing is to do is to hold out, then they're still going to go in 4v5 and get absolutely rolled. So there's a higher chance if you just like throw in with them that you're going to win at that level. And you can worry about making those smarter plays once you hit like gold, uh, high silver, gold, and, and platinum. But that led to him just like throwing. It was just like, wow, that was sick. It was just such a good staggered fight. They go in, then I go in, and then we all die. Suicide? I, I, yeah, it was. It was, actually. There was actually no purpose in me ulting in, except for the fact that I wanted to prove to my team that it was stupid as fuck to go in without me. That so yeah, he started getting toxic, which is a symptom of League of Legends. It's important that he finishes this challenge or quits to me before he becomes the slur slinging slasher, uh, which is like rampant within that community. But then it okay, wasn't long we, after that that he had like the, the biggest I'm crash out I've ever seen somebody have without getting canceled. This was painful to watch. I, 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 I will never solo queue after this day again. I will deal queue till I die. Well, I, I, I would rather play with an iron four person who has never played this game before than with four random strangers who I don't care or love about. Are you having fun? I could not be having less fun. I actually genuinely think this is one of the worst experiences I've ever had in gaming. I hate every fucking person on my team. I hope they have the fucking worst li life possible. And I don't want to feel that way. One of the people recognizes me. I want them to have a great life, you know? Like, if they're one of my viewers. But, like, fuck, I hate them in the game. I just I don't know what anyone wants to do. There's no communication. There's no coordination. Go for the tower. Yeah, okay, I'll fucking teleport there. Good call, dude. So if you notice over here, this is in-game chat. This Oriana is the person who stream sniped him, got into the game, and uh, wanted to help him achieve this. But they've also been, like, throughout this entire game, using the game chat to reply to his uh, things that he's, he's been saying on stream, which really, really took its toll on him. Yeah, maybe we just teleport there. I'm trying my hardest. Shut off my fucking stream, you fucking asshole. Shut it off! Please! I don't want to have to fucking know you. I just want you to be a stranger and for us to never talk again. Till we both die. That's it. Like every other game on earth. So yeah, he went a little hard. But... Part of me is like, that's League. It brings out the worst in everybody. I had the worst brought out in me a couple of times. I want to play again sometime. Maybe I'll have the worst brought out in me again. He completely melted down.
But my main point is that he's not playing as bad as he feels like he's playing or other people do. The problem is that his coaching has taught him the right moves to make. But because League is such an integral team sport, if his team doesn't know the right moves to make, then he's better off making bad decisions as a team than he is making the perfect decision alone. And once he gets ranked up to a point where they're, the players he's playing with has a higher understanding of the game, then he can focus on making the right decisions. But he's at a rank now where it's way more important to play as a team than it is to make perfect decisions. And I hope to see that happen because I don't, I, I like the guy. I don't want him to become the slur slinging slasher of League of Legends. I just want him to like get through this and go back to like uh, making content that he enjoys and his fans enjoy. Because as much as I like Ludwig and I like League, oh my god, it's rough. It's hard to watch. That's my thoughts on it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree with me. Or uh, if I should just like shut up and mind my own business.